Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. Today is a big day because Jamesy is about to get his very first haircut. to say goodbye to this fluffy duck. All right, check it out. Teddy's first adventure in Lincoln Park and he's not too thrilled because he just woke up. But I found a parking spot just like a block and a half down from Floyd's, the barber shop. Sarah had to go in without me because we were running a little tardy, just a few minutes, but I love this kind of weather, overcast, Seattle-like. It's like my favorite kind of Chicago weather. <laughs> he, he, such a big kid now. he really does. Wow. 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 <laughs> he eventually held it together and I was able to hold him and yeah, they did a really, really good job. Really good job. I think the one clip I got, it, he looks like he's like a champion, like he's not trying. Uh -huh. He's just down. He yeah. cried 95% yeah. of the time. Yeah. Really. But then he was good. Teddy was great. Like when I was talking, she, she cut my hair next, obviously. And I was talking, I was like, I'm glad. Like, I think he did great. Like, he was super loud. Uh -huh. But he wasn't, like, fidgeting too much. Yeah. That's what I was nervous about. It was like, similar with the dentist. He was, like, he was upset, but he wasn't, like, kicking and screaming, right. thrashing. Yeah, I was about, like, yeah. him getting cut or not being able to finish the haircut. <laughs> he was just mad. He was just screaming. Yeah. He says, let's go to Disney World. Let's go to a wedding. Alright, here we go. We got a chorizo breakfast burrito and a veggie yes. pesto burrito. This kid is loving his chocolate croissant. Uh, Collectivo coffee, I think, is what this joint is called. But we're gonna manja. Okay. Love you. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, she's got my sweatshirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln Park. Baby is now a small kid watching birds while he eats his chocolate croissant. <laughs> this baby is just neglected. No, <laughs> he's just chilling. No, I gave him a bottle, like a yeah. big bottle while. And he did so good. He really did. So this is veggie pesto, pesto yes. And famous chorizo. It's got refried beans in there. And they got, they gave us salsa too. Oh yeah, you want some of that too, James? Mm -hmm. I almost left with my coffee. I literally got all the way around to the driver's door. I almost left with my coffee. I literally got all the way around to the driver's door. Where I realized I had that still on the car. Time to go home. Quick little morning adventure. Very fun. We made it home. And Jamesy is sharing all of his stickers with Teddy. Wow. You are nice and awake now. You did so good during the haircuts. Jamesy. Did you put those down the crack of the couch cushion? Jamesy did so good. Can you believe he's such a big kid? Isn't this just the sweetest? <laughs> oh, bonk. I'm going to be putting together our next crock pot meal. I actually forget what it's called, hold on. So it's called Harissa Brian, but it also like in parentheses says Greek ratatouille. So it's just like a bunch of veggies, potatoes, zucchini, carrots. I'm going to put in some Brussels sprouts, tomatoes and onions, and I'll, I'll go step by step, but it's just kind of like this yummy Greek style potato recipe that will cook for some time um, in the crock pot. So I lined the whole bottom with yellow potatoes. Their recipe had like smaller ones that they just halved, but um, mine were a little bit bigger, so I had to cube them up. Um, 
their recipe said 500 grams. I just kind of eyeballed it. Like basically a third of the crock pot is full of potatoes. All right, next I have my carrots. I basically just like eyeballed measurements um, and filled it up a third, a third, a third with carrots, zucchini. This was just one big zucchini. And then Brussels sprouts. Their recipe didn't call for Brussels sprouts, but I just have a taste for them. So there's the top veggies. And then we're gonna finish it up with two tomatoes and an onion, I think. So then we're sprinkling a tablespoon of dill over the veggies. And then a teaspoon of salt. And then a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna leave those seasonings out. I would rather start with less and then add some more um, if I think it needs it after after it's all cooked and stuff. So I'm gonna leave those spices out and then it calls for five tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, then the last thing is I mixed half a cup of hot water with two tablespoons of tomato paste and that is going to go over the top. And one last thing, I added garlic. It just seemed like it needed garlic. <laughs> um, so I added like a tablespoon of fresh garlic to it. Um, the recipe that I'll link in the description actually calls for it to be cooked on low for nine hours, which I did not realize that. So I'm gonna cook it on high for like three, then come and stir it up and then like put it down to low after that. So that'll be our dinner. I'm thinking maybe I'll make some just like simple noodles with it or rice or something on the side. It is very hearty and it has potatoes and has so much to it, but I am just somebody who like, I like to have a side dish or I like to, I don't like my meal to just be one, one thing. Like I like to have a salad or I like to have um, a carb on the side or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see what else we come up with tonight. I do have tomatoes, maybe I'll do a balsamic something or other. Look how old James looks from this angle. Put sweater on, eating some fresh cut fruit. Then haircut. He's a million years old. I really did that. Are you just obsessed with your brother these days? Oh gosh. It's almost nap time for Jamesy. He really does. Kick him, Teddy, kick him. All right. James is, or Sarah's putting James down for a nap, and I'm gonna see if I can get him rocking and rolling in our swing for the first time so I can get some cleaning up being done in the living room. What? Yeah? So here's the city manning destroyer left at the air hearts. We have it back. Um, I'm taking James for a walk because after a valiant effort by Sarah, he was not feeling a nap, so I'm hoping that now that he's had some bottle, got a fresh diaper, and attempted to calm down with Sarah, that I'll take him on a walk in this beautiful day, and maybe he'll just clunk out in the stroller. And then, my ulterior motive is I officially got my temporary certificate for um, remote drone airman certification, which means we are legal. We're good to go. Drone footage can go on the Instagram, drone footage can go on the YouTube and everything. I have two of my three batteries charged up. My drone's down below, so I'm actually gonna walk towards the lake. And if he falls asleep, I'm gonna play with the drone a little bit. We're almost at the lake. Creepily walking very close to Lakeshore Drive. But that's what's cool about this, an underpass. Also, James fell asleep when we were like, a block and a half away from home. So I, you know, he was due for it. So we're just gonna go for a nice, I'm gonna go put the drone. He's gonna get, I'm gonna stay away for about an hour. So make sure you get good rest. All right, we're 40 minutes into the walk. I had to hop on some calls about some wedding duties for the week. But here we are. It's a little windy, but visibility and conditions are good for me to take, I have a little drone fun. So I got the drone here. Bada bing, got my remote. Gotta hook up my phone to it and uh fly.
Ooh, I'm stopping here on the way home. It's the new AIDS Garden Chicago. This was made this year. I remember when I went on some runs last year, it showed this um, under construction. Just a simple little walkways, flowers, learn stories. That cool statue over there. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, and with that, I'm done playing with the drone. James is still asleep, ended up being a really good nap, like an hour and a half, and early enough where it doesn't suck and ruin his sleep tonight, so that's good. I'm gonna walk home, might, might pick up some chicken strips because Sarah was, was itching for some earlier. Um, and then I think it's gonna be dinner time, and then we have to do some shopping and organizing and stuff for, the, for our trip and wedding planning. Perfect timing, wakes up two hours later, right as we get home from his nap. Ready for dinner. I got Sarah a monster and I got her these chicken tenders. Ready? What? Chicken. We've been looking these everywhere. I got, I got you two packs. Thank you. I did those. Good. Let's monitor this. There's uh, garlic aioli and spicy or sticky bourbon sauce. Sticky bourbon sauce is supposed to be spicy. They came with te Texas toast. I think that was an add on that I didn't add. But hey, delicious. Uh, um, what are you doing in here? <laughs> you knew it's time for dinner. All right. Here's our mushroom brule. No, it's. I don't know. We'll see how it is. It looks very mashy. Wake up! <laughs> Peter, <laughs> you look so tired. And here's our meal. I brought this out from the chicken. Ew! Um, I think that would be good in there. I think had I cooked it on low instead of high, the, the potatoes would have stayed more intact and would have been... Potato. It would have been more like salad instead of mashied. Peter says it smells healthy. I did top it with a little bit of salt and dill. I'm worried it's a little blah, but. This is what like Sarah does. Sarah makes delicious dinners. Says before we eat it, I'm worried it's blah. It's for dinner the rest of her life. I think it's amazing. But then she thinks. I'm not speaking the truth, I'm just trying to pump her up, but in reality, it's really good food. She just knocks herself down. Do better, Sarah. <laughs> I am my harshest <laughs> critic. Wait a minute, we're on a walk. And that's definitely not Teddy. And this is definitely, if you were just joining into the vlog randomly later into it, that's a haircut of James. Oh yeah, because Teddy had a little moment the second we got outside. I needed snuggles. I <laughs> needed some snuggles. <laughs> So Sarah, Look at how cozy he is. Yeah, now he's like peachy keen. Yeah. This side right here, like with the gate behind, I need Carolyn Earhart to text me when she watches this and say like, is this Chicago or what? Wow. I'm just telling you right now, I'm calling it. James is a Typhoon Lagoon kid. I wish you guys could go. Because he is a fountain kid through and through. It's very bittersweet that the FOMO is heavily beginning to kick in. Ooh, it's bad. Tomorrow's like our last day, like my name is James' last day. We have to do everything tomorrow. Cause we leave, our flight is Early. like 6.30 in the morning yeah. on Thursday. Okay, we're gonna move the car seat up Ooh. so that like yeah. when I'm driving, um, Teddy's not all the way in the back. <laughs> but, Bye Teddy! <laughs> but there's not too much more to do, it's just packing. Yeah. We'll have a little, should we have a fashion show tonight of Jamesy's? Outfit, um, or should we just like have the reveal beyond the wedding day? I think the reveal should be on the wedding day. 
it may be one in the morning. I may be freaking out. Well, I should be asleep this time tomorrow, 24 hours from now, because we'll be getting up in like, we'll be leaving here, Sarah, in like 26 hours. 26, 27 hours to bring me and James to the airport. Uh, but I think we can officially say that Chelsea and Cole's ceremony is written. Yes. And, and it's uh, awesome. I, I wish to, I could be there. I have to add like a little personal anecdote story-ish piece of my, of my own to it. Um, and Thanks Sarah, for including me in it. I haven't been included in you. Some houses can't be there. Mm -hmm. um, but I finished writing it. Sarah helped me clean it up. And I'm excited for Chelsea and Cole to read it. Like we're, it's all in like a shared one note. So like they definitely got a notification. It's two in the morning <laughs> where they are. So I'm sure they won't see it until the morning. Um, but I'm excited to hear what they say about it. Yeah. Sarah wanted me to not want put them. it in the note and just have it be like yeah. their yeah. ears hearing it for the first time during the ceremony too. But um, they have their vows to each other that they'll hear for the first time. They don't hear my bed. Yeah. And then they'll know exactly like mm -hmm. no surprises to yeah Alrighty. tomorrow's gonna be a day of running errands and getting ready mm -hmm. it's good to be home it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions <laughs>